blooming cold outside the greenhouse and blooming cold in, look, it's only you know, just less than 10 degrees. And the sweet pepper stays a solitary sweet pepper, not growing very quickly, but I'm not surprised at this weather, this temperature. I had a busy old day of it, it's a flipping cold day, I've got my shorts on, but really uh, feel as if I should be putting the lungs back on. I've got the fan heater on in the conservatory, my office. So I went for a swim first thing, came back, went down to Viper Signs to sort out some printing for the Joe Fest launch next week. And then I went to Body Balance. God, that was tough. Didn't I only, felt as if I'd only just had breakfast. I'm surrounded by about 40 or 50 women all bending their legs, all sorts of shapes, and I can't get mine anywhere, I'm so stiff. So these little whitey yellowy dots are actually basil plants coming through. Where is that one there? A couple there, look. One there. Six of them all together, I counted. Then popped into Sinsel Bank, got a couple of tickets for Lincoln v Yeovil, last home match of the season, last match of the season, this should be exciting. Hopefully that will be us into the playoffs. And stopped off to see if I can get a radio for the new camper van for Bursey, but the shop's shut today, I think it's shut on a Wednesday. Bit of a whistle stop tour there. And finally, I was dropping John off at the library, the university library, where he likes to go and do some work. And in front of our very eyes, we saw a motorcyclist run over a female pedestrian. Now, actually, it was his right of way, and I suspect she wasn't looking, and he did beep, but she carried on walking. So I'm not sure whether she walked into him or he walked, bumped into her. She fell over, got up and hit him, <laughs> and then she carried on to it with her friend. So I'm assuming she's all right. The big news here is that the first tomatoes coming out in the conservatory. That purpley thing there, that is definitely a bit of seedling coming through. Nothing else. It's these little bush tomatoes. This is Anne's plum tree starting to uh, bud. Won't get any plums this year out of it, but in years to come, hopefully and stood next to the cooking apple tree, so that would be plum chutney. Cooker is a bit more established, so look, its buds are a little bit further on than the plum tree. Didn't get anything off this last year, we did the year before. But I'm expecting, frosts permitting, we'll have some cooking apples this year.